Very oh, yeah. vice pilled. Why vice pilled? Why vice pilled? Because man, imagine imagine him with his aim getting to choose whenever duel he wants on his terms with his flash on his timing. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Listen, yeah. we haven't gotten it all down to where it looks the best. Um it's still in the works, especially on split. Yeah. But um, you know, it's just a it's just a different look. Like I, yeah. the lack of flashes definitely comes into play and you know the confidence you get yeah. as a player when you say flashing now and then you get to peak and you're expecting yeah. that kind of domino effect to happen with the flashes. So yeah. we really like the vice in the scrims. It's giving us a lot of um, different looks. And the great thing about it is each scrim we've played, there's been a new cook that happens. Right. E whether it's on like a retake with the ult that we just dominate, we're like, oh wow, vice is cooking, you know? Yeah. Or yeah. or there's um, rounds with um, the vines and there's just a lot of new yeah. lineups that we're finding. and. Um, it's I evolving think, every day. Right, right. So yeah. just finding out the skill ceiling and seeing how viable Vice is, I think the maps that she doesn't work on is really obvious. Yeah. And the maps that she might work on is is really cool to figure out. You guys um, are also known for this too, yeah. like the cooking, right? Yeah. I feel like this is your guys' like expertise of like always being the first team to like come out with something new. How yeah. do you like how do you figure it out? Is it just sitting down, like going into the server and seeing what makes this agent like viable? Because a it, lot of people were thinking like Vice is not gonna be used. It doesn't, it usually comes down to the players that I have. Oh, really? It usually comes down to the players that I have and then depending on where, where we're having an issue on whatever fight we're having. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then, in, and then in, there's obvious cases where the agent is just OP and is just yeah. better. Mm -hmm. um, like with the Neon and the Rays. Yeah. And then we quickly found out that the Neon was just better in Jaws' hands last year. Right. And then with Sim, with the Duelist right now, um, he's just much more, he's just much more effective on the Jet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Figuring, you know, figuring all those kinds of things out as yeah. a squad is, um, you know, eight because player comfort is really important. Because yeah, in sure. my mind, I want to, you know, cook up a whole crazy comp yeah. that would be amazing. Yeah. But um, but the player confidence and and how they perform in those microseconds matter yeah, a lot yeah. more. Yeah. yeah, a lot more than the strategy. I like how you described Vice, like a lot of focus on the cross. It's something I mentioned actually when I was watching Nature play. I was like, it seems like a great agent for an IGL. Like yeah. you can kind of focus on your game, look at the minimap a lot. And when you want to take fights, focus on the fights. And Nick is so good on that Yeah, agent. he was he's so good, good on this game. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's like, he's moving. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I heard from the birdies you were working a lot with him last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was... That's cool. Like, I'm not going to lie. He has come a long way as an in-game leader. And yeah, I think you guys are building something really, really great. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, this I'm excited about the core. Temporary roster, right? You guys are like trying stuff out right now. You guys don't have a locked in <laughs> team. Is that, is that's what we're hearing? <laughs> or you can't comment too much on it. Um, I mean, it's, no, it's not a, this is the roster that I want to win 2025 You want to make it with. work with yes, this team. Yes, yes. This is the roster that we came to this tournament and this is our dry run tournament. With okay. th this is the roster that we want in 2025. I see. Um, but the whole temporary thing is something else that's going on. I don't. I, don't, I, I got you. I don't know. Okay. I just work here. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Do you feel like um, I, I hate to bring it up, but I feel like Sim was getting a lot of flack. Do you feel like he's still getting like comfortable to the system, or is he like For sure. still trying to figure things out a little bit? For sure. I think it's. Um, I mean, hopefully he's. You know, hopefully it doesn't bug him. I had a little conversation with him this morning about it, and I reminded him that he's doing his job. Every right. round, um, on every map, this guy is just getting us so much space, so much info, and the fearlessness that he has, mm -hmm. it really activates all of his other teammates. Yeah. And one of the one of the key things that happens is when you have a duelist that is scared and doesn't want to go in yeah it fucks up everyone's flow yeah yes. right when you when you when it's go time it's go time yeah and so um sim has that sim yeah. has that and there's no question about that um he did his job it, it he whiffed a few times um so i think finding out uh how to reset yeah. as a player is something that he needs more experience on so we'll definitely work on that for him so that he can actually reset and be okay uh -huh. with whiffing yeah. but yeah. We brought it up as well. We were saying, like, we commended him for how he was able to continue to keep making the plays that he yeah. was making, mm -hmm. even if it wasn't working. So I thought that was nice. 